Homeless advocacy group in the West Bay is in a helpful mood this holiday season. Officials with help for the homeless are doing what they can to keep people indoors during cold weather. NBC 10's Tony Gugliotta has that story. Thanksgiving has come and gone, but local volunteers have been keeping those ovens hot, cooking up a feast to serve to those in need. They bring everything. It's kind of like a potluck. People bring veggies and someone's bringing a turkey today and we'll have ham and potatoes and um, desserts. Sometimes we even have appetizers. Barbara Smith is one of the volunteers for the organization Help for the Homeless in Rhode Island. Its mission, using social media like their Facebook group page to recruit volunteers to donate goods and services to those folks in need around the state. Organizers say they have over 800 volunteers. It is the end of the month, beginning of the month, so sometimes we can have a very large crowd, sometimes we'll have a smaller crowd. Here it is by the numbers. The homeless population in Rhode Island is actually decreasing, according to rifuture.org. Between 2012 and 2013, there was a 7% drop in the number of homeless families. During that same period, the number of homeless veterans dropped 12 percent. The number of homeless children dropped 13 percent, all totaling a 9 percent drop in overall homelessness. On Saturday, the volunteers gathered to collect and sort donated items, especially in the cold weather. They take them around West Warwick and other parts of the state and give them to homeless folks. We make toiletry bags and snack bags and we just go down to Providence with blankets and pass out um, some blankets and toiletries and food. Tony Gugliotta, NBC 10 News.